Let's have some beer. What be going down, people of the world? Thank you so much for joining me for yet another Daily Drink vlog. My name is Redbeard, and for the beer of the today... We've got a can of Mad and Noisy India Pale Lager by Creamore Springs. Yes, indeed. This beer was actually kind of tried before a while ago. It used to be called Hops and Bolts or something. I think I pulled it up here, didn't I? Yeah. Hops and Bolts India Pale Lager. So when I saw it, I did not put two and two together. This was drank from dr Daily Drink number 16. I didn't like it. I really, really didn't like it. I think I might like it now. So it's kind of like a Red Beer Redemption vlog, but at the same time, it it looks different, so we'll say it's different, but not different. Let's crack her open. And let's see what we have got. I, can't, I haven't had a lot of India Pale Loggers. I know I had one by Cameron's that was really good a while ago. That one looks pretty good, so we'll get a picture and try it. Yes, she's definitely a little bit hazy. Not super hazy, but not clear. Has a bit of a lagery aroma for sure. Not really getting any hoppy smell. Let's give her a shot. That's all right. Definitely a little bit of bitterness going on. I don't know if we have a G20. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Two months-ish. That's not bad. That's acceptable. Should taste more or less the way it's supposed to. Shit. I totally forgot. Let's do this. Cheers, everyone. It's got kind of an, I can't even really explain. It's just something that I kind of, I feel I can taste. It's got like a, a there's like a mass produced kind of quality to it, if that makes sense. Kind of reminiscent of Canadian or Bud or something. Just a, a, a little bit in kind of the way it finishes. I'm not sure. This hopped up amber brew is inspired by classic West Coast India pale ales, but our IPL is fermented like a lager. The result, a pithy grapefruit bitterness with notes of tropical fruit and citrus of an IPA and a clean balanced finish of a lager. I'm really not getting tropical fruit or the grapefruit out of there. I'm getting a bit of bitterness, but maybe it is a grapefruity pithiness. Like, I, don't, I don't eat grapefruit. I do not like grapefruit on its own at all. I feel like I could pull that up. Maybe. If I can, there we go. Woo! CreamoreSprings.com or something? Probably. Yeah, that's what it is. I'd say Creamore Springs is one of those breweries that I really haven't been Super impressed by any of their beers. They all just kind of taste really unadventurous, I guess you could say. Even this one here, it's not that hopped up. Like they kind of made a bit of a tame India Pale Lager, I feel like. Right? It's a 5.3 as well, so. Yeah, no, not taking any chances. Like I said, it's not bad. It's okay. It's just got a bit of a an oddness to it, if that makes any amount of the sense. Ratings start out with untapped, 3.43 out of 5. 14,467 rates. Apparently this has 60 IBUs. I don't believe that. At least not this can. No chance. Anyone gonna say anything? 
thought was thought this was the IPA, but too warm. Barbecue, it's good. That is some amazing grammar, dude. Jesus. Solid IPA, even though it's not an IPA. Oh, some people. Oh, you know, I'm not a professional. I just, I don't know. I've always been a bit of a grammar Nazi. Sorry, I blame my father. He kind of instilled that into me as I was growing up. Over on Rate Beer, 44 overall, 20 for the style. 171 ratings overall. So, not really loved. <clears throat> Excuse me. They had me at the word mad and this hoppy little IPA didn't just... Did, 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 do you not read cans before you drink a beer? That, that last word is not ale. <laughs> It's quite different than the word ale. Frickin' people. Not too bad, but really nothing too exciting or innovative. I concur. It's just kind of... Ah... Sheer resin, perhaps some buttery caramel, then just resin. Inky, resiny finish. Vile. Do the people producing this beer actually drink beer themselves? That's kind of funny. Somebody else thinks it's an IPA. <laughs> ah, good times. Sorry, I just showered. My, my hands are quite pruny. Happens after work sometimes. Nothing that matters at all. Oreo, what are you doing? Making weird noises behind my head here. Beer Advocate, 3.47, 162 ratings. 30.2% of the people liked the beer. I gotta say, it's definitely way better than the first time. Like, Back when I did that, number 16, I wasn't even giving numbers. It would have been like recommended by the beard or not recommended by the beard or like kind of recommended, I think is what I was doing. And that was definitely a not recommended by the beard. No ingredients on there. There is a date though. The date is paramount. Ingredients, don't be dicks and just put ingredients. But if you're not putting a date, then you're, be, you're beyond a dick. You're, you're a vagina dick. A dick vagina. Drink that with last before my brain falls out. <sighs> Creamore. Mad noisy. Into peel lager. Rating. Six and a half. Would have been a seven. Had you put some ingredients on your can. It's not bad. It's just... It's not great. Definitely enjoyed it more. Didn't, well, didn't really enjoy it. Definitely tolerated it a lot more than I did the first time around, I would say. And that's going to do it for today's Daily Drink Vlog. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, smash that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, smash that subscribe button. If you got some to me, put some comments in the box down below. Thanks again. <laughs> Awesome time. And I'll be back with another Delaware vlog tomorrow. A peace out! Well, it was first. God damn it. I just went into my channel and searched and was just seeing what other Creamore beers I've had. And apparently, this was retried at the Collingwood Beer Fest last fall. I gave it an 8. I want to say the stuff they brought to the beer festival was probably as fresh as possible. So, this being over a little, a little over two months, I don't know. I gotta start searching before I try my beers. <laughs>